A very warm welcome to all of you. This session is useful for individuals who want to build a career in Oracle database domain and become an OCA that is Oracle Certified Associate. Multisoft offers online training on SQL fundamentals which is the first step towards becoming an OCA. The training is based on the related exam and follows the official curriculum of the course Oracle Database Introduction to SQL. This is the agenda of today's session. We will start with an introduction to Oracle 11G, understand its scope and take a look at the various Oracle certification levels. We will then discuss the Oracle Database 11G SQL Fundamentals 1 course in particular, including target audience, objectives of the training and its detailed course outline. I will then provide you the exam related details before moving on to the sneak preview section. In this section, I will elaborate on one of the important course topics that will give you course subject knowledge and also help you understand how online training will happen at Multisoft. After this, I'd move on to the essentials of Multisoft online training for Oracle Database Introduction to SQL. And to wrap up, I will summarize the session for you. Let's start with an introduction to Oracle 11G. Oracle Corporation is one of the largest software companies in the world since it provides robust IT solutions for database management, supply chain management, customer relationship management and enterprise resource planning. Its wide range of product offerings also include operating systems, servers and storage devices. Of all these, Oracle database solutions are hugely preferred for they help customers to lower the IT costs in, in terms of managing database workloads with increased speed and reliability. To understand the 11G release in more detail, let's understand its three grid infrastructure products that are Oracle Database 11G, Oracle Application Server 11G and Oracle Enterprise Manager 11G Grid Control. The Oracle 11G release offers a comprehensive high-performance infrastructure, including scalability from departments to enterprise e-business sites. It is a robust, reliable, available and secure architecture, has a single development model and offers easy deployment options. Oracle 11G leverages an organization's current skill set through the Oracle platform including SQL, PLSQL, Java and XML. It additionally offers one management interface for all applications and it is based on industry standard technologies with no proprietary lock-in. In addition to these benefits, the Oracle 11G release contains database for the grid. Grid computing can dramatically lower the cost of computing, extend the availability of computing resources and deliver higher productivity and quality. The basic idea of grid computing is the notion of computing as a utility analogous to the electric power grid or the telephone network. As a client of the grid, you do not care where your data is or where your computation is done. You want to have your computation done and to have the information delivered to you when you want it. From the server side, grid is about virtualization and provisioning. You pool all your resources together and provision these resources dynamically based on the needs of your business, thus achieving better resource utilization at the same time. Let's get to know about Oracle Database 11G now. It is designed to store and manage enterprise information. Oracle Database 11G manages all your data which not only includes object relational data but also unstructured data like spreadsheets, Word documents, multimedia data types like MP3, graphics, video and many more. The data does not even have to be in the database. Oracle Database 11G offers such services that let you store metadata about information stored in file systems. You can use the database server to manage and serve information wherever it is located. Moving on to the next product of 3 grid infrastructure that is Oracle Application Server 11G. It provides a complete infrastructure platform for developing and deploying enterprise applications. It integrates many functions including a J2EE and web services runtime environment, an application portal, 
an enterprise integration broker, business intelligence, web caching, and identity management services. Oracle Application Server 11G is the only application server to include services for all the different server applications that you might want to run. The third product is Oracle Enterprise Manager 11G Grid Control. Oracle Enterprise Manager 11G Grid Control is the complete integrated central management console and underlying framework that automates administrative tasks across sets of systems in a grid environment. With Oracle Grid Control, you can group multiple hardware nodes, databases, application servers and other targets into single logical entities. That's how it allows software provisioning, that is automation installation, configuration and cloning of application server 11G and database 11G across multiple nodes. Another most important feature is application service level monitoring. That is, it facilitates the availability and performance of the grid infrastructure as a unified whole, as a user would experience it, rather than as isolated storage units, processing boxes, databases and application servers. I hope that you picked up the concepts well. With that, let's move on to understand the scope of Oracle Database 11G. This training prepares students for moving the path of becoming an OCA, that is, Oracle Certified Associate. After clearing the relevant exams, individuals can work as database administrators. It is projected that the demand for DBAs will grow at a rate of 20% per year until 2022. Also, as per surveys, there is a shortage of qualified DBAs and hence it is the most difficult to fill designation. In line to the fact that DBAs play an important and responsible role in every company's IT department, CNN reported that the database administrator roles are amongst the top 10 in-demand jobs for the next decade. While this workshop intends to prepare you for the beginner level Oracle certification, it is important that you are aware of the complete Oracle career path. There are four levels of Oracle certifications. As a beginner, individuals aim to achieve the Oracle Certified Associate Certification. The second level certifies candidates as Oracle Certified Professional, wherein individuals are competent to perform most tasks unsupervised. The third level, that is OCE, Oracle Certified Expert, is the next level to the professional credential. And the fourth one is the master level that qualifies you as OCM, Oracle Certified Master. This is the highest credential. Now let's take a closer look at the exams to be cleared for becoming an OCA in Database 11G and the one that we will be preparing you for this workshop. You need to appear for exams 1Z0051 and 1Z0052 to qualify for the OCA certification. Today we will be covering the details of the first exam that is 1Z0051. We will start with understanding the ideal audience for this training. These include students and professionals who have prior exposure to computer science concepts and programming, students with bachelor's degree or more in engineering, computer science and IT disciplines, students and professionals with at least an associate or diploma certificate in computer sciences and IT. Professionals with work experience in computer science and IT field looking to change careers and organizations that want to provide Oracle DBA training to their employees. This slide shows the complete course outline for Oracle Database Introduction to SQL course that targets to meet the objectives like listing the features of Oracle 11G, understanding the theoretical and physical aspects of relational databases, Establishing knowledge about Oracle implementation of the RDBMS and ORDBMS. Identifying the major structural components of Oracle Database 11G. Retrieving row and column data from tables with the select statement. Creating reports of sorted and restricted data. And understanding about views. Now let's discuss a bit more about the exam. The exam code for the training we are referring to that is Oracle Database 11G SQL Fundamentals 1 is 1Z0051. There will be a total of 66 multiple choice questions that need to be attempted within a stipulated time of 2 hours. 
In order to clear the exam, you need to secure at least 60% marks. The exam is conducted online through Pearson View and the fee for the same is $125. It's time for the sneak preview section. Here I will cover some important course concepts to give you core subject knowledge as well as an understanding about how online training will happen at Multisoft. We'll start with an understanding about data storage and how is it stored on various media. Every organization has some information needs. For example, a library keeps a list of members, books, due dates and fines. Similarly, a company needs to save information about employees, departments and salaries. These pieces of information are called data. Organizations can store data on various media and in different formats such as hard copy documents in filling cabinets, electronic spreadsheets or databases. Talking about a database, it is an organized collection of information. And in order to manage databases, you need a database management system that is DBMS. A DBMS is a program that stores, retrieves and modifies data in databases on request. There are four main types of databases, hierarchical, network, relational and object relational. Moving on to relational database, it is a database that uses relations or two-dimensional tables to store information. For example, you might want to store information about all employees in your company. In a relational database, you create several tables to store different pieces of information about your employees such as employee table, department table and salary table. So to start with, let us gain knowledge about the relationship between multiple tables. Each table contains data that describes exactly one entity. For example, the employees table contains information about employees. Categories of data are listed across the top of each table and individual cases are listed below. Using a table format, you can readily visualize, understand and use information. Because data about different entities is stored in different tables, you may need to combine two or more tables to answer a particular question. For example, you may want to know the location of the department where an employee works. In this scenario, you need information from the employees table which contains data about employees and the departments table which contains information about departments. With an RDBMS, you can relate the data in one table to the data in another one by using the foreign keys. A foreign key is a column that refers to a primary key in the same table or another table. You can use the ability to relate data in one table to data in another to organize information in separate, manageable units. Employee data can be kept logically distinct from department data by storing it in a separate table. The guidelines for primary keys and foreign keys include You cannot use duplicate values in a primary key. Primary keys generally cannot be changed. A foreign key value must match an existing primary key value or unique key value or else it must be null. A foreign key must reference either a primary key or a unique key column. Moving on to the terminology used in relational databases. A relational database can contain one or many tables. A table is the basic storage structure of an RDBMS. A table holds all the data necessary about something in the real world such as employees, invoices or customers. This slide shows the contents of the employees table or relation. The numbers indicate the following. 1. A single row representing all data required for a particular employee. Each row in a table should be identified by a primary key which permits no duplicate rows. The order of rows is insignificant and specify the row order when the data is retrieved. Number 2. A column or attribute containing the employee number. The employee number identifies a unique employee in the employees table. In this example, the employee number column is designated as the primary key. A primary key must contain a value and the value must be unique. Number 3. A column that is not a key value. A column represents one kind of data in a table. In this example, the data is the salaries of all the employees. Column order is insignificant when storing data and specify the column order when the data is retrieved. Number 4. A column or attribute containing the department ID. 
the department id identifies that an employee is working in which department through the employees table number 5 an intersection of row and column is considered as data value the data value may be unique or duplicate according to the column number 6 a null value represents that the data value is not available for that column for a specific employee we can modify it in the future as well i'll now tell you about the properties of a relational database in a relational database you do not need to specify the access route to the tables and you also do not need to know how the data is arranged physically to access the database you execute a structured query language statement that's sql statement which is the american national standards institute standard language for operating relational databases the language contains a large set of operators for partitioning and combining relations the database can be modified by using the sql statements let's now summarize what we just discussed relational database management systems are composed of objects or relations they are managed by operations and governed by data integrity constraints oracle corporation produces products and services to meet your rdbms needs its main products include oracle database 11g with which you store and manage information by using sql oracle application server 11g with which you run all your applications oracle enterprise manager 11g grid control which you use to manage and automate administrative tasks across sets of systems in a grid environment and sql the oracle server supports ansi standard sql and contains extensions SQL is the language that is used to communicate with the server to access, manipulate and control data. Hope you found the sneak preview section useful. The actual training will be much more interactive and detailed. I will now give you an insight about how online training is delivered at Multisoft. When you register with us for the training, we will connect with you as per the pre-decided time and impart trainings for 32 hours in all. For the exact schedule and each session's duration, you can refer to the training calendar on the 11G SQL Fundamentals 1 Exam Preparation Workshop page. The training happens over Cisco Webex. This is a secure web conferencing tool from Cisco that allows real-time learning experience. Once you register with us, we send out event links to you, wherein you log into a Multisoft Webex that allows two-way interaction between the student and the trainer through webcam and voice chat. It is as good as a classroom since the whiteboard allows the trainer to transfer knowledge as done in a classroom. The share option lets the experts share files, videos, applications and even desktops. Once you register with us, we provide 24 by 7 access to an online resource center wherein apart from accessing other training material, you can also attempt 20 module wise assessments and 5 certification based mock tests. Apart from these two valuable exam oriented resources you also get access to all the related presentations projects and other training material This is a sample of the online assessment which will test your knowledge on the various course concepts At the end of the assessment you will get the information on the correct answers and the reasoning behind the same So that's all for today's session let's summarize it quickly When you register with us for the introduction to SQL course, we will impart 32 hours of training in all. Multisoft is an Oracle authorized training partner and the training will be conducted by an Oracle certified trainer. You will receive access to a total of 20 online assessments and 5 mock tests to test your skills about your understanding with the course concepts. In addition, you receive 24 by 7 access to an online resource center. We will additionally provide you with exam preparation tips and guidance on how to fill the online exam application. This session was an attempt to give you in-depth understanding about introduction to SQL course and its related exam. To register with us for the training or to post any queries, please write to us at info@multisoftvirtualacademy.com. At